Hello class again and welcome to this particular video and in here we're going to explore how to measure a particular angle when you're given two lines and they intersect and in here we're going to be using a particular wonderful tool which is called Google Drawing and to get Google Drawing all you have to do is once you open a new document which is what we have right here you first go to insert and then in the drop down you see drawing and then you click on plus new and in here you're able to create your specific drawing particular template and so in here what we have to do is first we need to create a question and to create a question what you need are two lines so what i do is click on this particular line icon and once you click on that you draw your line from one end to the other end and what we have is a straight line that is located right here what we can do now is do the following. What we can do is to create a specific title for our specific line. And to do just that, what we have to do is we just have to click on the particular T, we create our box, and we type line 1. So in here, since my internet was not actually functioning properly at that particular point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to recreate my line and this is line one. So line one is labeled here as line one. And so the next line we're going to create is another line, but this other line has to cross line one, which means it must meet line one somewhere around. So I'm going to make it meet right here. And so I'm going to title this line two. And once you title that as line two, we need to play around with some other tools that Google Draw in has to offer one tool is the use of our specific icon which has a specific line and once you click on the drop down you have scrambled and once you click on scramble you can write down specific or label specific things to watch out for in terms of intersect and in this case here when two lines they meet they meet at a point which is in this case right here and this point here is called the point of intersect and so this particular point is very really crucial because we will need another tool that will enable us to determine the angle which is the space between two lines you could have more than two lines but for the purpose of this particular video we're going to focus on two lines and so the tool that you need is called a protractor and you're asking yourself, why do we need a protractor? We need a protractor because it has calibration, which is a form of a semicircle that measures the space of two lines relative to the specific lines in focus. And so in this particular case, what we have to do is click on images. You need to search a specific type of protractor you want. And once you click on search, you type in pro tractor and uh, take note that we'll need png type because we need most likely the protractor to be transparent and this is why you need a transparent version so you have all these variations of protractors and we want ones that are calibrated way more than this one right here and must have vertical and horizontal line but that way we can align our lines properly so once you click on this Take note that there is one other thing that we will need in this particular exercise that I'm going to show you shortly. So once you click on select, you will be able to get your protractor that is highly defined as the transparent version. So click on select the arrow so that you'll be able to adjust the size of the protractor however you want. And you can also drag the protractor to the side focus. So take note here that when you're dragging your protractor, we need couple of things to align properly one is the following you need the horizontal line on your protractor to line up with the horizontal line and you need the circle target which is seen right over here when i zoom in to line up with the point where the two lines they do meet which is this point right here so once you drag this particular circle target point to that position right there this is accurate to what we want in terms of our measurement. Couple of degrees way off looking at it right over here, but overall it is truly accurate to the specific positions that you want. So 
Take note here that our horizontal line must line up with the zero on one end to that of the 180 at the other end. And also we need to see that our target point is at that particular point where our one line, which is line two, meets our line one. So once we have this, then we are able to do our specific measurement, which is what is the space between line one and line two. There are a couple of ways to go about it. One is either you measure this particular space right here or this particular space right here. And so you can measure from here to here, which we're going to do first. And now to do that, what we have to do is kind of adjust our size a little bit so we can gain access to our icon. We're going to pick our scramble so that we'll be able to level the specific site that we want. And in this case, we want this particular space from here all the way to line two. And we need to know what this particular measure is in this particular case right here, which is this space right over here. What is this space measurement? And the measurement, take note, has to be in degrees. And so to measure it, what we do is we take our first particular tick mark, which is in this case our start point to be known to be 183 degrees. And the other mark is where our line two touches the other calibration mark, which is somewhere around here. And once you take your measurement, you should see that this number is, in this case, around 110. This is 115, 116, 117, almost close to 118. So this is 118 degrees. And so the space between 180 and 118 degrees is by subtraction. So we're going to subtract 118 degrees from our 180 degrees. And what we get as our answer is equal to, in this particular case, 2. And we have 1. And we have 7 here. 7 minus 1, that is 6. And so in here, our answer is 62 degrees and this is a wonderful way for we to be able to find the space which is the angle between two lines on one particular side here another one is what if you're asked to find the angle on the other side from line one here to line two looking at this other side so what we're going to do is we're going to change the color of our specific specific scramble and I feel Scramble is a wonderful tool as well to play around with. And in here, we're going to figure out what this particular space right here is from this line one all the way to line two. And to do that, take note that, you know, by coloring, we're able to highlight the space that we are measuring and take note that it's measured in degrees. So we are starting here, which is zero degrees, and we're ending at this number right here, which is the same as our line to tick point right here, which is in this case, 118 degrees. And so zero degrees, and you take away zero from 118 degrees, that will give us our angle here to be equal to 118 degrees. And what you realize is this, the angle on the straight line is equal to the sum of the angles that are combined together to get 180 degrees. And so what we see is that if you add 118 degrees and 62 degrees together, you're going to get 180, which is from one end of line one to the other end of line one. So this is really remarkable to see how you're able to use protractor in your Google drawing to be able to determine the angle on a particular diagram, which in this case is the intersect between two lines. So thanks for following me through this particular video. I hope you found this really informative. Please let me hear your thoughts about Google drawing and other interesting tools that can be used mathematically to execute various problems. Now, when lockdown, it's kind of difficult to be able to gain access to some interesting tools that we use by hand. Well, how about you use technology to your advantage? So this is a wonderful way to do that. So take note that you need to hit save 
and close and you're able to have your solution there right here so thanks for following me through this show i appreciate it see you on the next video stay smart as always and believe in yourselves